is question four. So according to the exam paper on May 2017 C1, we know that 100 uh, companies producing 140 bikes each week. We know that the number of bikes produced increases by D each week until the company has produced 206 bikes in the 12th week. So here they would ask us, let's have a look, find the value of D. In other words, find the, the changing difference. Actually, in this case, find the difference per week. So pretty straightforward. I mean, nothing special here. So how do we do this one? So let's call this one part A. Okay, so we know firstly, that this represents A, right? So we have A equals 140. And we know in week 12, U12, the position, the number of bikes uh, being produced is 206. Okay, so what happens here? So now using our general position equation, we've got UN equals A plus N minus 1 D. All we have to do now is pretty much substitute everything. So to find the, the number D, but we first you, so we replace U12 here, place A of 140 and place N of 12 because that's what we're at position 12. So if U12 we should have 206 on the left hand side equals 140 plus 12 take away 1 is 11 D. Now it's just a case of solving this, you know, arithmetically. So take away subtracting 140 we should leave us with 66 equals 11 D and thus Dividing by 11 should give us a difference of 6 per week. Okay. So notice that this only applies for between weeks 1 and 12. So we're just putting a bracket. Weeks 1 through 12. Okay, let's move on to part B. Here we are. Now part B. So after week 12, the company plans to make 206 bikes each week. Here they're asking us to find the total number of bikes in the first 52 weeks. Okay, so let's just understand this. So we know that up to, we know that after week 12, it caps at 206. And we know for the remainder period of the 52 weeks, it will still be 206. So okay. Alright, so let's have a shot at this. So I'll probably, we can say that the first change in difference, called the D1, has a difference of 6 between weeks 1 to 12. And then we know of course, uh, from week 13, there'll be no difference. It'll be locked at 206. So we say from weeks 13 to 52. So I like to plan my strategy before we actually get to it. So what does this mean? This means if we're going to find the sum of all 52 weeks, we take into account the sum of the first 12 weeks is here. Plus, and we know this is locked at no difference. This means that it's locked at 206. And how many weeks is between here? Well, Usually I just subtract them and then and I subtract one more, you should get actually subtract them you should, and then plus one to include the 13th week and you should have a difference of 40 weeks. So we just simply say 40 times 206 because it's 40 loss of this amount. Now here we really just calculate S12. So where's S12? The formula is in general which we should know is Sn equals n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1 times by D. We know what A is, A is 140, D is 6, and then N in this case is 12. So we're going to have 12 over 2 is 6, 2 times 140 is 280, plus 11 N minus 1 times D, so 11 times D, so it would be 11 times 6 would be 66. Okay, not bad. Now evaluating all of this, what happens? So this is actually not such a bad one. I've seen worse ones in earlier papers. 280 plus 66, so we can just add, why do we just add 20? I mean, if you're not sure, if you're not confident of this, always try and increase value. So I'd raise this to add 20 to this one, subtract 20, and then it's just 346. Now, multiplying this out. Oh yeah, we can't forget this other term. Okay, so let's just put this over. So 40 times 206, again, doing the same logic. 40 times 200 plus 40 times 6. So this part is not so bad. 4 times 2 is 8. Lock out two zeros. And then 40 times 6. Again, 4 times 6 is 24. Adding a 0. So we should have 8, 2, 4, 0. Easy mental maths. Same for this one. 
but this is of course a lot tougher so I'll do all of that once I mean you can even do the standard way because this is not so bad to work with 6 times 6 is 36 so put 3 up there 4 times 6 is 24 plus 3 7 27 and 3 times 6 is 18 plus 2 is 20 so here we should of course get let me put this back here we should thus get 2076 plus A240 and here we can just do the mental math so we should have A240 plus 2076 so again this is nice you should get 6 here 4 and 7 is 11 this sums up to 3 and thus a final result would be 10,316 bikes Man, this company is greedy. So, not so bad. After one year, they produced 10,316 bikes. Whew! Hope this helped, guys, and um, let me know for anything else. I'm moving on to number five.